I kind of hated this. Kind of hated this? Yeah. Well, I mean, you're with the majority. I really hate looking at Ice Spice's album of the year page. Uh, why is that? The the cartoons make me uncomfortable. The cartoons? The cartoon. Oh, that's right, that's right. I know what you're talking about now. I forgot about her old album covers. Those are horrific. <laughs> Put that on the worst album cover playlist. What do you think? What do you think? Kind of sucked. Kind of sucked? Yeah. I'm glad you say kind of sucked and not totally sucked. Oh, why? Uh, this is kind of hard for me to hate. The production's really good. I don't really like any of her flows. Uh, she kind of only has one. That's the main point I made against this. I did do a written review. She has no versatility. I feel like the beat felt samey. Uh, no, not really. Like, reused? Maybe some of it. I feel like she kind of hops from the drill type production to like some rage stuff to like some trap stuff. It kind of covers all the mainstream rap. Like, I mean, it goes places. Yeah, I think the rage stuff was like the worst of it. Oh, really? I kind of like it. Yeah, I didn't, kinda cool with it. I didn't like it at all. Mm. To be fair, Yeet's album took a while to grow on you. So there's that. <laughs> I kind of hated this. Kind of hated this? Yeah. Well, I mean, you're with the majority. From you, I kind of take it as, like, a normal thing to say. Just because this seems in line with things you dislike. But I truly do feel like Ice Spice gets so much of her hate because she's a female rapper. And female rappers just automatically do. And it's kind of sad. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. My wife gave me homework to listen to Megan The Stallion. Oh yeah, Megan The Stallion is fantastic. But even she gets, like, quite a bit of hate very disproportionately. That's fucked up. It is fucked up. I feel basically the same way about Ice Spice right now as I do about Sexy Red. Neither one of them are great great for sure like they're definitely making some pretty mid music and there's a lot you can critique about it but dudes are making equally mid music and get praise or indifference for it yeah, man. like i would rather listen to this 10 times out of 10 than some like fucking bloated hour and a half long trap album that just sounds like every other bloated hour and a half long trap album yeah i think i'm gonna give the next one that comes across my my desktop a zero <laughs> yeah like i'm thinking like gunna's album let's see what does that have as a user score if gonna drops that again it's getting a zero <sighs> he kind of does every time so there's a very strong possibility <laughs> he could always switch it up i don't fucking know but yeah okay so i'm looking at this gonna has 14 more points on his user score for that last album and that was so fucking boring at least there's some fun moments on this yeah like there was some goofy shit yeah they kind of made me hate it more but i appreciate that it's there and i'd rather it be there than listen to gonna again look that all being said there's a lot to critique here and i guess i kind of already put it out there that she has like one or two flows and reuses them a lot yeah as a rapper kind of lacking for sure and i think that if she did a longer project it would be a little insufferable <laughs> to uh deal with that uh probably close number. yeah yeah but again thankfully it's not and for that reason it's kind of fun i don't know yeah stupid bars across this dumb poop bars constantly uh which is annoying <laughs> yeah gonna was on this album oh yeah he was actually <laughs> speak of the devil <laughs> He says something really stupid in his verse that doesn't make any fucking sense, and I forgot what it was. I heard Travis Scott, like, twice, and he was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they threw his ass on there, bro. Yeah, yeah, no, he's he's on here. I think his feature's fine. Yeah, like, I don't really hear him at all. No, he's, he's a pretty significant part of the track. Oh, was he? I was just fucking not listening all the way then. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I only got through this album once, and it was with my wife, and she was talking about it with me. Okay, yeah, that's fair. I mean, I feel like you kind of get the summary of it as you listen to it. It's not deep, <laughs> obviously. There is a song on here called Thank You the Fart or <laughs> Thank you the fart. Thank you the shit. Thank you the shit. <laughs> fart. Best track on the album. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's one of the better ones. I mean, honestly, it's kind of fun. Take out the meme review that I was just doing. It is one of the better tracks. Oh, yeah, for sure. No, it's it's fun. It's, it's dumb. It's just dumb fun, though. It's turn your brain off music, you know? Yeah, like my wife mentioned that'd be really good in the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's fine. I disagreed, slightly. Why do you disagree? Some of it gets kind of annoying, point out a couple tracks. Sure. I don't think I like Doshi, and I think that's a hot take. It, I mean... No, it's not a hot take. It's kind of right in the middle with ratings, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's like a 42, so yeah. Yeah. Personally, I don't think I would replay the 
song. I, I don't know if I would replay most of this, but it's like fine if it's on. I'm I'm not really gonna complain. I won't get angry, but I'll be like, Ugh. I get ugh when I hear mid music almost more. Yeah, same. I think did it first with Central C is kind of a banger, even though Central C as a person seems fucking annoying. Like he still raps pretty good. <laughs> There's so much just like shit talked about around him. I don't even know where we're at with the controversies. I'm just ignoring that. That's the other TikTok song too. Oh, is it really? Is it popping off on there? Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. That song was good too. Not good, but like not bad. I think it's I'm legitimately fine. good. I think I gave that like a seven. I'm totally fine with it. Okay. Yeah. That's fair. I think I'm at a six with it. That's also totally fair. There's just a lot of disproportionate hate here. I think it is partially just that people aren't realizing the self-awareness. I think she knows that she's kind of making a joke of it, right? Yeah. It just feels underdone. Well, if she's gonna be absurd, she'd be more absurd, honestly. True, yeah. That's one of my complaints. I think she just fucking roll with it. It kind of feels like she's scared. I can see that. I can see that. Maybe not extreme in the way of poop bars, but do say more like ridiculous shit. Yeah. We don't need more poop bars, please. She also mentioned Doja Cat. I can't remember what it was about. I think it was just like referencing that Doja Cat like did some crazy shit or something. I'm so not in the know on the pop rap drama. <laughs> I just know it exists. My wife is more than us. I remember Doja Cat shaving her eyebrows and her hair. Other than that, I just have no idea. Yeah. I don't really know if there's anything else to say about this. I can't say that it's an album that I recommend, but it's not one that deserves a user score of 33. There's a factor here involved that uh, has nothing to do with the music, you know? Yeah, that definitely is annoying. I honestly didn't even think about that. My wife mentioned it earlier today, and I was like, oh, fuck, that's right. <laughs> yeah i don't think you're really like in on the whole discourse around hip-hop as much no. as i have been throughout the years and it's something that is observable also where where is the y2k concept that's another big critique i'd give to this <laughs> i forgot it was called that yeah i constantly forget it's called that too there's nothing y2k about this it all feels very modern yeah yeah i don't know was she born in 2000? Maybe. I don't know. But Y2K is like an aesthetic. One second. Let me just look up when Ice Space was born. Porter Robinson's album was Y2K, so. But she was born January 1st, 2000. Oh, so maybe it is in reference to her actual date of birth. Bro, we're the same age as Ice Space. That's crazy. Uh, you are. I'm younger, but. No, she's a year older than me. Oh, okay. We, we would have had classes with Ice Space. Is Billie Eilish not younger than us? I think she is. Yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> It's things like that that make me just go like, oh man, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't think I would trade lives with Ice Spice, quite honestly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's more debate. I would with Billie Eilish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's no, so fucking talented. That's totally irrelevant, but still. I... <laughs> yeah. All right. I feel like she's just embracing the fact that people are calling her music trash, too. Because, again, if we're going to go a layer deep with that irony, putting the album title on the fucking trash can, like, <laughs> bro. Oh, yeah. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. This is a terrible album cover. I can't lie to you, but there's redeeming qualities here that people are ignoring. There's a C in her butt crack. There is indeed. I, I <laughs> hate that the spray paint goes over her. It pisses me off. <laughs> Dude, that's like, awesome. It's like she's a statue and people have just graffitied over her. Dude, fuck. Maybe, maybe that's symbolism. Who knows? Maybe it goes way deeper than we're even considering. Figure this shit. Not even the part. Yes, indeed. What'd you score this? 42. 42? I'm proud of you for not giving it a terrible score. I went with a 55. It doesn't break into like an actual positive range because I feel like five is indifferent, six is positive, and I, I can't be fully positive on it. I feel like six is leaning. Yeah, right. Six is the start of the positive range, so it's it's right below. And I mean, my math mathed out yeah. to about 55 anyway, so. I had to make sure this score was around the same as Gunna's last album. I gave Gunna's last album a 40, but I gave this two more points because Gunna was on it. I thought that's funny. That is funny. Maybe I should have taken away two more points, but... Who knows? Who knows, man? An album that's not too far up. Up next, we have Mustard, Faith of a Mustard Seed. Hello, everyone. This review is a clip from the latest episode of the new music podcast. Every Thursday, we go through and we review several albums released in the previous week. If that sounds interesting, check the link in the description to see the latest episode. Also, like this video and subscribe to the channel for more music-related content.
coming your way. Your support is greatly appreciated.